and welcome to the Gateless Gate Cone 13. This is Tokyo-san's bowl. We have actually finished now 12 different cones, plus the preface, plus the introduction, so that's pretty cool. Cones 1 through 12 are uh, an introduction, and we began with the idea of Mu and becoming open to a new reality, all the way to 11 and 12, which talked about you. And it talked about how to overcome the ego soul within you and how you're worth it. So at the end of 12, we're now starting a new phase. And this is going to be kind of a level up. So hopefully you're feeling pretty good about the first 12. 13 is confusing. Cone 13 is Takusan's bowl. It's, it's uh, monks playing mind games with each other. So you have to know that coming in. Uh, these monks are going to be playing a whole game within a game within a game. And so this is how it goes. Tokusan goes to the dining room with his bowl. Seppo, the cook, he comes out and sees Tokusan with the dining in the dining room. He says to Tokusan, the dinner bell hasn't rung yet. Why are you here? And Tokusan doesn't respond. He looks at his bowl, he looks at Seppo, and then he walks away back to his room silently. So Tokusan goes back to his room. It's really important at this point to know that Tokusan is actually the master of this monastery. And Seppo, so this is just some background, Seppo, he's from a different monastery and he came to learn from Tokusan. So Tokusan is actually teaching Seppo a lesson here. And that's important to know because this is where the trick comes in. There's a third monk named Gonto and he goes to Seppo and Seppo said, I don't get it. The headmaster came in with his bowl and I asked him, why is your bowl here? Why did you come here with your bowl? The dinner bell hasn't rung yet. And then he walked away. What does it mean? So Gonto decided to play a trick. And it's quite brilliant because he plays a trick by showing his lesson instead of teaching his lesson. So this is what he tells Seppo. He says, oh, silly Tokusan, he hasn't penetrated the ultimate truth of Zen. Well, Tokusan hears this, and Tokusan knows that Gonto is kind of a smart guy. So he's like, what's going on? What's, 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 what's happening here? And so he goes to Gonto, and he says, I heard that you don't like my Zen. And Gonto whispers the secret to him, which, what is the secret? Well, I don't know, but I'm guessing Gonto said something like, hey, that new student Seppo, I'm going to teach him, I'm going to play a little trick on him to illustrate some certain principles. So... Gonto whispers the secret, and then Tokusan, I guess, decides to play in on the joke because the next day he goes to deliver the sermon, and he gives a completely different sermon. And Gonto is like, that's so amazing, that's so great, hail the great Tokusan, who has finally penetrated the ultimate truth of Zen. At this point, you're like, okay, what just happened? So here's the key. Mumon gives us the key. The key is, they were all playing a joke the entire time. He said, as for the, Mumon said, as for the ultimate truth of Zen, neither Tokusan nor Ganto, none of them even know what it is. What his point was, is that just because Ganto says you do have it or you don't, doesn't mean you have it at all. No one can proclaim, no one can proclaim your Zen or your enlightenment. If you proclaim it, you obviously aren't referring to it because it can't be proclaimed and it can't be spoken, right? Zen is something that you have. It's something that you show and experience. It's not something that you can proclaim with words. And so what I see here is that Gonto was trying to teach Seppo. He was trying to teach Seppo that the true path of Zen is not one of words or proclaiming or looking for it. And this is a lesson that I've noticed happens throughout the Gateless Gate with new initiates, trying to get over this first hurdle of uh, not not looking to the master for the Zen to come from the master, but looking towards the master to let the Zen come out of oneself. And so this is what Gonto was teaching, and it was what Tokusan was teaching when he did not respond. When Seppo asked the question, Tokusan looked at his bowl and went away again. And that it was his way of demonstrating through Zen of what the proper way of enlightenment is, um, to not proclaim these things. So Mumon finishes up and he says, the first truth and the last truth, they are all the same. And what he means there is he's saying that the enlightenment is within you to begin with. So you've got this within yourself. And it's just a matter of letting it come forth. It's not something you proclaim. It's not something someone gives to you. 
It's something that comes forth. And that is the lesson of Cone 13.